you today. Thank you all for coming. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Isn't this festive? Isn't this festive? Now, as you know, this is, well, you maybe don't know, this is our sixth year running our little regular Christmas party. Thank you very much. So I hope the ham is getting better with the, with the age. Very good. Um, what we've decided to do this year is a little bit different. Normally we just sort of invite you along, help yourself, drink, eat, be merry. But this year we've actually decided to put this to a good, well actually a bit of better reason. You may have noticed on our, our Facebook page that we're um, supporting Simone O'Brien and her, her charity. Would you like to come through please, Simone, for me? Um, Simone will give you a little bit of background of her story, but basically victim of direct domestic violence, so we both learned it wrong. So what we decided to do today is if you've got a, a couple of coins, gold coins, something like that, we can just pop it in the silver pot on the way through. This is going to go towards, obviously, the, the charity of, our, uh, of today. But what we're also doing, we're running it all the way through uh, January. So all the boys you see, all the baristas, all the guys here, all your favourite baristas, are going to be uh, going dry for January. So we're actually not touching a drop. As of midnight on New Year's Eve, we all stopped drinking. <laughs> God knows how. <laughs> but it's for a very good cause, isn't it, Simone? So I'm going to introduce you to Simone O'Brien. Uh, just have a quick listen to what she has to say. And then on your way through, Sorry. please just give generously to this amazing, amazing cause. Thank you so much, Simone. We need a Thank you for Brendan and also Dr. Lynham, um, who has also facilitated with Brendan to organise today with um, to be the main charity of Rise Up, um, which is helping people get into new homes, women and children, um, setting them up from domestic violence. I myself, as Brendan mentioned, um, am a survivor of domestic violence um, here in the north side of, of Brisbane, um, where I was beaten by a partner that I was trying to get out of a relationship from and he did, just didn't want to hear no. Um, I was beaten with a baseball bat actually, to, hence why I've got a hat on today because I've got um, skin grass, etc. But um, to 45 to 50 welts to the right side of my face and I've actually now since lost my eyesight, my sense of smell, all my jaws all sm smashed in and um, Kelly offered me some food before and I had to kindly say no because I don't know if I can get it in my mouth because my width um, of my jaw doesn't open up. But it was six... Oh, sorry. Yep. It was uh, six years ago this happened to me here in Brisbane and I suppose I've got uh, three children to myself and um, what I found out after the court hearing, I'm just giving you a, a, a brief rundown of my story. What I found out after the court hearing was um, the perpetrator that did this to me, he'd actually been married twice and I never knew that. He actually sold the first one. She didn't report it. He sold the second one. She didn't report it. So I'm a third wheel here. And with the way domestic violence is at present in our nation, you know, we're up to about 85 deaths and that's including children. And our average is only meant to be 40, uh, 52. So my journey now is to at least get it down to single digits and that's still too many and all make a stance here, um, you know, for today for domestic violence because us women and our, our beautiful children, you know, the next generation's coming, we're put on this earth for a reason and it wasn't to be assaulted, sworn at, you know, the financial problems that our nation's going through, it's only going to cause more over Christmas. So thank you so much to Brendan and the team today and, and also you, all you guys today for, for being a part of it. And um, let's rise up and um, stop domestic violence and support the charity. So thank you so much. Wow, what a courageous woman. Big hand and please please give generously. It's a very wonderful cause. What a better time of year to do it than right now. All alone. If you can't kill her out, at least. Merry Christmas everybody. Official guest here, say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody. There you go. It's official now, we're open. Don't stand on my white suede shoes. Do sweet oh, white suede shoes, white shoes. <laughs> What's well, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready to go, get go, we don't choose the mic, save my money so we can Well, you can do anything, but then you have a blue switch. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready to go, get go, but don't you step on my blue switch. Thank you. 
very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> She wrote a Your attention, please. We've got a very important announcement from our from our host. Here's our host. Welcome, our host. I just really wanted to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. This is a bit emotional for me this year. I would really like to thank everyone for supporting a little place on the bridge. We love you, You make our day, especially Brendan's, all the time. He always comes home and tells me some amazing stories about every one of you. They're all lies. <laughs> I actually can't thank you enough for supporting us. It's been a very tough year for us. And who knows what the future will bring for this little bridge. But I just wanted to say thank you. I want to say a big thank you to our wonderful Santa. He comes every year, doesn't ask for anything, fills our little bridge with such Christmas cheer. And he's such a lovely, lovely man. In his real job, he's a lawyer. Doctor? <laughs> Sorry, doctor. No, lawyers, no, doctor, doctor. <laughs> um, I want to thank our amazing team. Our boys are just the bomb. They are so amazing. They never, ever say no to anything. Brendan asks them a lot and he puts them through That's me. the hoop. <laughs> no, don't cry. <laughs> um, it's amazing, uh, especially our boy who has really stepped up this last week and has given some Brendan a bit of time off to do some things that we had to do at home. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and we look forward to seeing you in 2019. And uh, a big thank you to Simone who has come so generously today and please support uh, this charity, charity riser um, who uh, helps so many women in so many different ways. I feel we're so blessed to have her here today. Also a big thank you to Anthony uh, Lynham, who I'm not sure is here yet. But anyway, thank you for everybody who has made our journey a little bit easier this year. And we look forward to um, a wonderful Christmas and thank you so much. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you. Yes, I just want to say thank you also. I know I did it before, but I will do it again. But I really do need to bring attention to my beautiful wife here who absolutely goes through hell. <laughs> I put it through hell at like at 3 o'clock every morning when the alarm goes off and I roll over and I get up and I go and have a pee and I come back to bed for 12 minutes. And now the alarm goes off and then, yeah. Too much information. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm digressing. But she really does put up with a hell of a lot. Um, when we first started here six years ago in January, um, I said to her, look, there's just a small little cafe. We're just going to do a few coffees, uh, maybe a batch of muffins, you know, a day, six, 12 muffins. This woman is nothing for her to be sort of baking up to 13, 14, 15 items a night ready for the following day. So she does do a hell of a lot. And majority, a lot of this, uh, the success of this business is the fact that it's a family run business that uh, you can come here, get a home cooked cake or a delicious treat that actually tastes the way it's supposed to. So yeah, a big round of applause please for Kelly. She does a huge job. And yes, to reiterate what he said about our team of guys who I know over the six years have come, they've gone, we've had big dark uh, guys with dreadlocks and angels' wings. We've we've had so he, he couldn't make it today. So, but we've had uh, the, the team that are on at the moment. It's always the best team, the current team. This guy flew back from London to be here today to help us out, Jock. There's the Max and Max. Give us a wave, Max. Give us a wave, Max. The two Joels, jo handsome Joel, and then there's tall Joel. 
uh, who's Joel's birthday was yesterday, so we should really probably be singing happy birthday to him too. We'll give him a big kiss on the way out. Then there's Josh, who's decided to unbutton his shirt all the way down. Very sexy. A little Polynesian prince over there today. Beautiful. And of course, Saxon, our boy, out the back there, who's um, very shy and, yeah, very... Um, yeah, there he is. Hello. Wave. G'day. There he is. Also, I'd like to have Nelson's come back today. And it's actually uh, partly Nelson's fault that we're all going dry in July. It was a discussion that we had earlier about um, perhaps having January off the booze. So, <laughs> yeah, lots, lots of nice tea and coffee. So, yeah, um, like Kelly said before, please give Dennis on your way through for the uh, Rise Up Foundation. And uh, have a great time. Enjoy yourself. There's plenty more ham. There's boxes of it. So, thank you very much. Cheers. And a big hand for Kelly and Brendan, who make all this possible, for running a fabulous cafe. I think it was, it was rated the best in Brisbane for a while there. Yeah, it's just fabulous. So, we're all very lucky to have them. So, support them and support this charity. It's really good. Brendan, can you, can you just show where the collection boxes are? Yes. So there's a collection box on the way out. The beautiful Joel, not the tall Joel, the beautiful Joel has got it in front of him. He'll extract as much money as he can from you. Also, you can go to our Facebook page. There's a link there to the uh, uh, My Cause charity uh, fundraiser. So you can just click on that link and donate on there as well. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Brendan and team. So back to the music. What do you reckon? But you hang around. We're going to go through until you guys all fall over, which would be quite some time, I think.